Hey Geminis, how y'all doing? Welcome. We're going to be taking a look at your mid-March monthly reading here. So in your meditation, I saw a Norwal, which I feel like this has come up for you before. It could be wrong. Maybe it was a Marlin, but I, I saw a Norwal um, and I saw a submarine and I heard a, <laughs> heard a John Mayer song. Uh, which is, I think it's Walt Grace's Submarine Ride was playing. While well, I'm watching this submarine uh, and this Norwal swim alongside it. And then I saw uh, the submarine move to this place where suddenly it came out through the water and was still, it felt like underground, but it was like this underground um, layer, if you will, uh, that was dry. And it, it kind of moved up onto these long stilts where suddenly it was on, it was in a dry area and it was held up on stilts, the submarine. And there was, it was very high up. And then there was a lot of people down below kind of looking up at it and, and like, wow, look at this submarine, take a look at it. And, and kind of being able to um, see it a lot more clearly um, in the air, but it was still very much, it wasn't like on land. It was still felt very much like beneath the ocean, but in a place within the ocean where the water wasn't. So there was an ability to kind of see more clearly and breathe, right? Interestingly enough. Now, when I think about Norwal medicine, it's a whale, right? So Norwals um, are very much like whale energy about empathy and clairsentience, which is clear feeling. And also they have that horn, which relates them to unicorn energy, which is very much about the, you know, intuition and magic of our lives and existence and experiences. But also it grounds all of that into a present day reality, where the, you know, synchronicities of life and deja vu and things lining up, uh, kind of come into more physicalized form and experience. So it becomes a little bit less about keeping the faith and a little bit more about show me the money. <laughs> so what I was getting from this meditation is that this submarine, I feel like for you guys, it's, it's felt very underwater, you may have been feeling overwhelmed. Like the, there's, there's a lot to be felt a lot going on internally, perhaps because there's a lot going on externally. Um, but it's, it's, it's feeling things to such an extent where it's difficult to glean much insight from it. Now our feelings, right? You know what I say? Our feelings are the gas that fuels our intuition. Our intuition is our greatest superpower, weapon, gift, ally. But if our emotions are not balanced, we don't have access to it. I feel like this submarine coming up for air in a way, but still being like underneath the sea, I feel like this second half of March, especially around the time of the spring equinox here, which is on March 20th, there's a balancing that happens within that energe energetic equinox, as it were, where it's equal, the day is, you know, equal times light and dark. And I feel like there's something in that for y'all, where I feel like there's still going to be a lot of feelings going on, but you're able to just step into the air as you are an air sign to the point or long enough or well enough to where you can actually balance out some of these emotions and glean what they're trying to tell you. I feel like your emotions are informing you, which our emotions do, are informing you about something or some things, but there's just so much of it that you're not able to really co-creatively work with it and go, hey emotions, what are you trying to tell me? You're just sort of like, <sighs> Not necessarily reacting to it all, but it, it feels like these emotions are happening at you. Um, and now you're moving into a place where you have the ability to kind of whoo, take in a deep breath and kind of have a conversation with some of these emotions that have been going on. So let's go ahead and see what your animal energy is, Gemini. Oh, it couldn't be better. The way of uh, the whale, I almost said the whale, I'm thinking about whales. Camel, brilliant. So what's really cool about this is that the camel equates to the temperance key in the tarot, which is about balance. And if you think about it, that, that angel has one foot on land and one foot in the water in the tarot. 
And we're talking about coming out of the water just long enough or just well enough uh, to the point where you can actually like breathe a bit and get a clearer viewpoint and stance on what your emotions are trying to tell you or inform you around. And then we have temperance. Now look at this blue moon reality here because we're also talking about the equinox, right? So it's interesting. You know, camel energy is great as well, which is also related to water and being able to hold on to water for long amounts of time, right? That's interesting, another parallel there. But camel energy is about like a deep sense of like satisfaction and that it's that sense of like, I'm always going to have what I need. And because I feel that way, what I need always shows up. When we can truly embody a camel perspective, we don't have anxiety over the future and we don't have sadness or regret over the past. This is not easy. We're human beings. So I don't mean to imply that it's like, boop it a bop. I mean, just like do that. But this is a beautiful opportunity that I feel you have access to um, during the rest of this month. And it, it's it's a really, it just kind of feels like, funnily enough, like a cool drink of water and a and a deep inhalation of, of breath and air, which is really great. All right, Gemini, let's see what's going on. What's going on for y'all? Gemini. Oh, <laughs> you're not ready for this. You got the star. Are you serious? Uh, and she has one foot on the land and one foot on the water and the, and the star and the balance and the air, but the water... Look at how this is lining up for you. This is like a high synchronist, highly synchronistic reading. And this is a very auspicious for you. This is about great hope, great love, wish fulfillment, faith, alignment, being in the spotlight, getting what you very much deserve and feeling like everything is well. I feel like there's also an aspect of like being able to release some of these emotions and in, in the name of aligning and balancing them. I do feel like there could be an aspect of purging coming up for you where you're able to release some of these emotions. Sometimes we, our body purges when we aren't necessarily like planning on it. So you could be watching a movie or thinking about something or whatever, whatever else. And, you know, the tears come or the deep emotion comes, I would say as it rises, like the tidal wave, go with it. Don't resist it because it wants to be purged from your body. So you're able to balance these emotions a bit. I feel like these like water bearing vehicles have been really a bit too full. So they've been sloshing all over the place. <laughs> emotions have been imbalanced. Um, maybe the moods have been up and down. Maybe you've just been feeling like just, uh, just really imbalanced in some way. So uh, allow that stuff to come up and come out. It's, it's going to be able to balance you out a lot better so that you can carry those emotions emotional waters without spilling. Okay. What's this going on? Oh, 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 Gemini, I'm so here for this. Four of Wands. Ha I'm telling you, this feels really nice. Happy home, celebration, victory, synchronicities. This is 11-11. We've been talking about synchronicities. This is feeling like, woo, I've, I've got to, you know, I can finally like celebrate and appreciate where I am. I am telling you, there is this sense of being able to breathe after a long time of holding your breath. Like you were underwater and now you're able to breathe. So here for it. You have temperance You with the camel. You have the star. You have the four of wands. Just breathe a whew, deep sigh of relief, Gemini. I think you're, you're in for a really lovely rest of the month here. Okay. Another major. So we have the hermit in reverse. So in the upright, this is very much about, by the way, this in the lantern is the star from the star key. So it's interesting how that's coming up. This is Virgo energy. So hermit is very much about going on a spiritual pilgrimage, being in your own time and energy in order to get clarity and guidance and answer those big questions, right? Out in the cold here. This came up in the reverse. I feel like for you, there's an aspect here where you, you, you've lived in a sense of the unknown long enough or not really making a decision or not really uh, being clear on things. And there's a sense of like coming in from out of the cold and feeling like you can kind of rejoin society in a way or rejoin your, you know, your interpersonal relationships a bit more actively. It feels like this is where you've been in the upright hermit and now you're coming into the reversal state and you're going, 
okay, anything that I couldn't figure out on my own, I would now like to talk to people about or anything I couldn't figure out on my own, I'm just going to release and let go and let it figure it out itself, right? I do feel like you're going into a time where you're going to feel like being more sociable. For sure. The star. You guys are social, but I feel like maybe you were coming from a place where you're feeling a bit less, maybe a little too overwhelmed with the emotional state or life or, or busyness or whatever. And now you're in a place where you, you're really feeling the need to be more social, which especially if you're in the Northern Hemisphere lines up really well because we're moving into spring. So that feels natural as well. So to clarify the star, you have the freaking magician, which I cannot handle. So this is, this is such a powerhouse duty. You have a lot of major arcanas here. So things are due to lighten up for you. And I'm really happy to see that. The magician is about getting very clear on what you desire and then bringing that into full focus so that the universe can supply the road to get there. That's what this is. I feel like there are things that you desire or some questions that you've had about what will, what will line the road ahead. And I feel like a lot of that's going to become illuminated based on steps that you've already taken. It's just coming back around now. A lot of patience has been required of you. And I feel like that's about to pay off. Four wands. Four of wands. To clarify, the four of wands. Double eleven eleven. Are you seeing... <gasps> Do y'all remember in the meditation when I saw that submarine up on these big stilts and there were people below? Oh, oh, oh my God. The submarine up on the stilts and the people, but I just, can we take a moment? Four of wands with four of wands. It's just, it's extra clarification. It's extra just validation. Double four of wands, happy home and family, reason to celebrate, rejoice here in the center. We're moving into the next month, the fourth month of the year. It's springtime. Things are blooming. It feels like you guys are coming back to life and like really breathing in this beautiful. I keep getting it. I get. I can breathe. I can breathe. Oh, Hermit in reverse. Queen of Swords, and that's what it is. Now, she is the queen of editing. She is the queen of choices and wise decisions, and she never regrets a move. What's really interesting here is remember how we talked about the hermit and the reverse, or hermit and the upright, really being about those questions that you have and seeking that wisdom. And then we're talking about the hermit reverse kind of coming out of that stage. I mean, like, whatever I couldn't figure out on my own, I either want to discuss with other people or I want to release it. And then we have the Queen of Swords here. I feel like there's something about things starting to turn around for you in a really positive way that gives you this beautiful gift of perspective where you're just able to let go of the crud that has been weighing you down from an anxiety standpoint from a sadness standpoint from a whatever standpoint and you're able to just like the queen of swords cut it out you're coming into your air sign power here going more of this less of that I'm going to make a decision. This feels like a strong decision making because this is seeking what decisions should be made. This is a strong, I'm making the cut, I'm making the decisions. So it's interesting that it's coming out this way. I feel like you were stepping fully into your power and feel a lot more sure about what to do or what not to do than you have in a moment. It gets very air and water here as well with the Queen of Swords. Very interesting. This feels really nice, Gemini. Let's go ahead and get an oracle. I'm feeling like this one feeling like this one double four of swords though fascinating i'm getting a note too with the um hermit in reverse and the queen of swords i feel like there are people around you that would also benefit from you know you spending a little more time with them or reconnecting as well so just putting that out there if you feel the call, if you feel the urge to be a bit more social or reach out or whatever have you, I feel like that is that is a um, you know a, a divine source of inspiration that would would be really lovely for you to follow up on and leading to a lot of feel goods. It's really lining up with the turn to spring in the northern hemisphere as well, which feels really nice. All right, let's get an oracle. Ha ha! Wow. Okay, so we have the Desert Prince, and this says survival, false promises. So what's really interesting about this is you see the heat, and then you see the water here, and then coming out of the water and, like, being on the land. You know, 
this very much speaks this really um, this is lining up with the camel and hold this up together so survival false promises the desert prince and then this is all about being out in the desert but being able to hold on to water for a long time you know i'm really getting with this that there is an aspect of you that is being asked to who kind of rework your belief system or your expectations can you expect more for yourself? Can you expect more from the people around you? Can you expect more from your path ahead? There, when we are talking about survival, we're talking about operating from a moment to moment place, but not of like a happy, like I'm in and of this moment. And the gift is the present. That's not what I mean. Like survival in terms of like, I'm just getting through like day by day. I can't plan for the future because I can barely even handle like what could be tomorrow. That's the desert prince. And here with the camel, I feel like it's saying, can we be open to shifting that a bit so that we can allow ourselves to dream of the future and look past and just trust that whatever comes our way, not only are we going to be able to handle it, but we're going to be able to make some needed edits so that we have more time for what actually fulfills us and allows us to breathe deeply and less time for what is literally requiring a submarine to navigate. Have you been on a submarine in a very deep ocean? If so, you're being called to make some edits and trust that by doing so, you're going to land in a place where you feel a lot better. Are you in a job that is suffocating you? <laughs> Are you in a relationship that, that is not as quenching as you desire? Well, what is it? Is this an aspect of you that, that is pessimistic at the heart because it's healing from a lot of pain and we need to kind of, you know, rework that in order to, to look at your worth and what you can actually manifest from that place of I deserve to be happy, etc. That's what this feels like is coming up for you, Gemini, because I feel like you are only limited here by your own perspective and by your own willingness to make some needed changes that could lead to greater happiness. But in order to do so, it's about trusting that those changes are going to work out and you don't have to have the fear that the changes that you make are going to land you in a worse position than where you started. It's a very four of pentacles thing, this desert prince. It's like, I'm afraid to move forward or back. I'm just got to hold on to these pentacles where I am and hope for the best. You're being invited to step out of that. I and mean, you started with the star, you have a double four of of wands allow yourself to lighten up allow yourself to breathe allow yourself to socialize and allow yourself to connect with the part of you that believes that you deserve to be happy and you deserve to enjoy your life from a place of assured abundance okay you absolutely got this Gemini. I am wishing you a very happy and blessed rest of your month. A very happy for those of you in the Northern Hemisphere. Spring Equinox coming up on March 20th. And thank you. Thank you guys so much as always for being here. And most of all, thank you for being you. And be well. Until next time.